What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. The Raging Tempest reveals just keep on coming. This one comes from the Weekly Shonen Jump. We've got four new cards to talk about, including a new boss monster for Shiranui. Could this be their strongest monster? Well, I mean, stat-wise, he definitely is, and he is actually only level 10, so there could be a level 12 down the pipeline. So this guy is incredibly powerful, 3,500 attack. He's a Shiranui through and through. A lot of Shiranui's are, uh, you know, zombies and whatnot. Well, a lot of, they're all zombies. This is Shiranui. I got this name. Hold on, I got this. Homu Ragami. There we go. Homu Ragami. All right, that's as good as I'm going to get. I think I, well, we kind of nailed it there. He has zero defense, which honestly, when you give me 3,500 attack, I'm not going to complain about zero defense, especially not on a zombie. And uh, a zombie, I think it's really not that relevant because, you know, things like Book of Life and Mizuki get zombies back from the graveyard really easily. The synchro materials to summon this Joker. So, this guy requires a zombie type tuner monster plus one or more non tuner zombie type monsters. So basically, you're only going to be summoning this in Shiranui or like zombie dop decks. You know, you're not going to be playing this in any type of, even if you were running like a Shiranui hybrid with, you know, those versions that run like a bunch of Light Swarms and, uh, you know, they run like Fairy Tail. I don't think you're going to be running this, to be honest. Now, effect number one if this card is special summoned, I like that. Does not have to be synchro summoned. Summon, which means Book of Life, Mizuki, Call of the Haunted, Soul Charge are definitely in play. You can activate this effect. Shuffle any number of your zombie synchro monsters you have in your graveyard or that have been banished into your extra deck and then destroy the same number of cards your opponent controls. This is not targeting and um, this is actually not once per turn, but I guess technically it is because you can only special summon one of the sky per turn. So yeah, okay, that, that kind of makes it pseudo once per turn. I think this is a pretty good effect. It doesn't target, um, it would have been a little better, honestly, had they made it all like Tiramisu and it spun the cards, but I'm not going to complain because I like the fact that you don't have to synchro summon it to activate the effect and it gets your Shiranui banished monsters back to your, you know, extra deck. And honestly, it's not that far-fetched to think that you might summon this guy using a Shiranui zombie because Shiranui's do have a level eight synchro and I must, I'm assuming that's what Konami wants you to do. Effect number two, if a zombie monster you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect you can banish a sure you your monster um, from your graveyard instead okay this is not once per turn it protects itself and it protects all your sure noise like i mean what, what is there not to like about that like your little guys are just can feel a little bit safer with this card on the field protecting itself and protecting them second we have our new infernoid card which again i think was pretty predictable guys i think that Konami's probably going to wrap up the Dual Terminal 3 and Maximum Crisis, the next set that comes after Raging Tempest. I am pretty sure that there is going to be a Shadow, a Necroz, and a Zephra in that set. I could be wrong, but if you're looking at the trend, I'm pretty sure that, you know, the trend starting back in Invasion Vengeance, where they gave us a new Klee card, we got a new Teller Knight card. Like, I think that the trend is going to continue with Dual Terminal 3 and those archetypes from Dual Alliance era getting more support. All right, so this is Void Madness. I've already read this card. This card is actually really, really, really good, I think. Uh, it's a normal trap. The only thing is, yeah, if it was a spell card, it'd be so much better and so much. It would just, it would be faster, and that's what I want. <clears throat> it says, send one Void Speller Trap uh, from your hand or face up on your field to the graveyard. Special summon up to three Inferno Monsters who total levels equals eight from your deck, ignoring summoning conditions or no, ignoring their summoning conditions. Okay, so I think this card is really good um, simply because it's a plus one and it thins your deck out and it gets you Infernal. It's like, what is there not to like about this card's effect? I know it's a trap. It's a little slow and... It does require you to run, you know, some of the void spells and traps, which really isn't that big of a deal. I mean, ever since Infernoids lost reasoning, I mean, you got to get your Infernoids in the graveyard somehow. So I think a lot of people have been picking up void imagination. But uh, I like this card because just simple advantage, guys. Like you're giving up two cards to summon potentially three. If you get Petru and Harmadik and Decatron, I mean, that's three monsters for the price of two cards. And your monsters still can attack. Your monsters still get their effects. So Harmadik can blow up a monster. You can blow up a back row. You can technically turn that into a plus five right there, right? I guess if you even summon Decatron and Decatron sends like another Harmadik or you make, uh, you send like an answer and you bounce a monster, technically this can be like a plus 
like what a plus uh four yeah you can because those monsters can all like get rid of things and then you make a plus one inherently so this can technically be like a plus four and you can easily make an omega off of this and we know that uh like we know that infernoids like omega because they have to banish to summon their shit anyway so omega naturally fits well into the deck so i think this card's good i wish it was a little faster wish it was a spell card i, I would rather just it'd be a spell and have it that you can only activate one per turn, then it'd be a trap, honestly. All right, next up, we got some Cardian support. Enjoy. All right, this is Cardian Retrieval. Honestly, the name kind of tells you what uh, the effect is going for. It's a normal spell card. It says, target one flower, Cardian monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. There's the retrieval part. Um, then you can special summon one flower Cardian monster from your hand, ignoring summoning conditions. Okay, so I think that this is super good because I've messed around with Cardians a little bit on like YGO Pro, although I'm not any type of Cardian expert. Sometimes you get big ass monsters stuck in your hand, man, and it really does suck. So to be able to get um, a monster in the graveyard early with like a twin twister and be able to like activate this card's effect, first off, it's a one for one, but then being able to just empty out your hand of any monster is just super good. Effect number two, if this card is sent to the graveyard by the effect of a flower cardian monster, and it's a pretty decent chance it might be, you can excavate the top five cards of your deck, then you can add one excavated speller trap to your hand. That's basically like Karee Bandit. I mean, that's cool. You know, <laughs> you might end up getting lucky getting a Regeki that, you know, was like the fourth card on the top of your deck, and bam, you get to use it immediately. Return all other cards to the top of your deck in any order. Uh, stacking your deck in Cardians is very important because when you use a lot of your Cardian effects, they let you draw and reveal a card and uh, usually it has to be a cardian for you to keep it so you want to be able to stack your deck at will now this isn't the only card that lets you stack your deck but the more ways of stacking your deck the better because the more consistent your plays are going to be and cardians i definitely could see people playing this card because again it's a one for one that could empty out your hand and can pretty much be a plus if you like if you excavate it uh from a cardian effect and you get another spell or trap then it just becomes a plus one so definitely gotta like that it's a plus one that stacks your deck in any order that you want lastly we have this bls trap card that i don't really like because I've said it before, I don't think it makes sense for rituals to have traps. The most successful ritual deck ever, Necroz, had zero traps to its name, and look how good that deck turned out to be. All right, so this is a Universal Beginning. You can only activate one Universal Beginning per turn, which is fucking unnecessary considering this card's not good to begin with, I don't think. You can reveal, or excuse me, effect number one, reveal, it's actually only effect, reveal three warrior type monsters from your deck, including at least one Black Luster Soldier monster, or Gaia the Fierce Knight. Your opponent chooses one of them at random. If it is a BLS or a Gaia monster, add it to the hand and send the others to the graveyard. If it isn't, send all of them to the graveyard. It would have been really cool, and I would have needed the once per turn thing if it didn't. Like, if this was just a gener generic card that just sent three warriors to the graveyard, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I would just send three Necro Gardeners to the grave. Like, that would be really, really cool. Or send two of them to the grave and add one to my hand. But I don't know. I don't like this card. For one i don't think traps make sense bls now has three fucking traps which is stupid like if you were gonna give bls a trap just give them a damn infernity barrier i know it's lazy i know that somebody like me might complain about it being lazy but it just it makes the most sense like just give them an infernity barrier that works by having a gaia or a bls ritual monster on the field or by banishing a bls ritual monster or a gaia from your graveyard that way people can't splash it into dumb decks um i don't know um it's for you to even be guaranteed to get a BLS, like to get the BLS to your hand, you have to play, like you have to use three BLSs. And I do see the potential of comboing because, you know, things like Envoy to the Chaos, it doesn't mind being in the graveyard because it can just get itself back. You know, if you send the Chibi BLSs, which people called them in my last video, I mean, th those cards don't mind being in the graveyard either because if you banish them, you can trigger their effects and search shit. But I don't know, this card seems super slow to me. Like it should have been a spell card. And even if it was a spell card, I still wouldn't play it. So for it to be a trap card is like, I mean, there's just better ways of getting BLS to your hand, like guaranteed ways. And like, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really seem that big of a deal to get your graveyard set up when, you know, in the same set, you're getting like, you're getting, uh, what's it called? You're getting Super Soldier Origin, which can kind of set your graveyard up too. So I don't, I don't really like this card. And by the way, let me just say in yesterday's video, 
I didn't realize that Black Luster Soldier, the original one, the vanilla one, could be used with preparation or pre-preparation of rights. So that actually changes a lot of my opinion on that card because now I'm thinking, wow, if you did use Super Soldier Origin and you summoned the vanilla BLS and you used it by using the two chibis, that BLS would still be pretty, like, that BLS is now pretty fucking powerful. And apparently, uh, if you use both chibis, the a banish effect stacks, so you can actually banish two cards. So, I mean, you'd have a, even though your BLS started as a vanilla, it'd actually be really fucking strong. It just wouldn't have the whole, the super soldier, you know, doing damage when you run over a monster, but it would still be really strong in my opinion. So, I don't know. I would have rather had a new BLS, like, monster or I would have rather just had an Infernity Barrier. Like, yeah, it would have been lazy, but it would have been, like, way fucking better to just keep your BLS protected. So let me know what you guys think of these four cards. Um, leave that in the comment section below. Give this a video. Or give the, oh, my God, it's too late. Uh, 5.58 in the morning when I'm making this. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you have not already.